Overtone editing is a powerful, really creative and unique way to alter the color of an instrument, the tonality of it. Often you want to do this for corrective reasons or creative reasons. It's really up to you. In this example, though, I want to show you how it's done with a real harmonically rich instrument, like a piano, for example. Let me select focus on my piano. And here it is in my editing window. And let's take a listen to this. All right, we'll go to the beginning. Check it out. Now to use the sound editor, simply open the window. Up here in your top left corner of the Melodyne application, we've got sound editor. Just open it like this and there it is. Now when you play back the audio, you'll see that there are these balls reference, referencing the energy. The difference between overtone editing, the harmonic series of an instrument, and editing the EQ, the frequencies, is really fundamentally different. Harmonic overtone editing is kind of a way of changing the color of the instrument, not the tone so much, I feel in my experience. And it's something that's best heard than really talked about. And that's what we're going to do for you right here. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to close my info pane in my tracks list in my file browser so we can see more of the application. Let's scroll to a different part of the song. Let's go from bar 19-ish to about 44-ish. And I like to start with this one right here, bar zero, I call it. You can raise and decrease this one as well. By holding command on my Mac, I can click it and reset any one of these parameters back to zero. Now, what's happening in this bar zero before we get started, I want to point this out to you, is any non-musical content is often affected. You can raise the amplitude or lower it of this. And if I do so, you'll often hear that perhaps in this example, the thumping of the, the pedals could be reduced. And this can be good for your mixes. Take a listen. I'll exaggerate it, both raising it and lowering it here so you can hear the, um, the example. Hopefully you're able to hear that. I recommend using headphones for some critical listening here. For example, specifically like this. But when I elevate that, when I really raise the amplitude of the non-musical content, I can hear a lot more of those, those piano pedals being thumped. And by taking it away, often reducing this just to uh, say about 20 dBs, which is a lot, can be a happy balance, depending of course on the other audio content, if there is any, that you're mixing the piano with. Now, to edit any one of the overtones here, you can select each band individually by clicking on it or a series of them. Let's say I wanted to do the odd ones. I could double click. Let's say I'm starting at my third, for example, and we go 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, all the way to 96, and so on. And by selecting them, I can just edit that order. By exaggerating the series, the overtone series of any of these, you can really step into that whole creative element where it starts to resynthesize the sound in a unique way. But by decreasing them, I often feel that subtractive overtone editing is kind of a creative way of, of eliminating certain tonalities that, you know, you didn't know were there often. And it's fun to experiment with. Again, holding my command key, I can reset any of these parameters. Let's have a little fun. Just by editing those 
those four or five parameters, I resynthesize this organic instrument automatically. Now to reset your parameters, just select here under settings and choose reset spectrum and everything is back to normal. And I can undo and redo that using my keyboard commands. And to bypass your work here on the right corner of the sound editor, we've got a global bypass. So here's the original piano and I'll toggle the bypass. Let's reset that, and there we go. Now, we have some macro sliders here, emphasis, dynamics, and we've got the brilliance, the uh, contour, and then next, the odd even, and the comb. What these will do is, is these sliders help exaggerate certain kinds of parameters to maybe get you uh, halfway to where it is you might want to be. I'll try this from the beginning here at bar 19, and let's start with the emphasis. Emphasis is supposed to slightly emphasize the natural characteristics of the instrument. And of course, if you if you stretch these parameters, you're stepping into that creative zone. You're resynthesizing the sound. Now, the next is the dynamics. This will literally just allow you to hear the attack more or the sustain, adding sustain to each note. And these all could be used to taste depending on what it is you're trying to do in your production. Now back at Brilliance down here, let's start with that one again, right here. As you can see that increased the, the brightness of the, uh, the instrument. Next, we have the contour. Check this out. We can exaggerate the natural overtones, the direction of them, and we can even invert them for unique effects. You'll have to hear it to see what I mean. Okay, next, we got the odd even. And then one of my favorites, comb, which is kind of like comb filtering uh, related to the EQ and frequencies, but it's doing it with the harmonic overtone series. Take a listen. So hopefully you're getting an idea of how easy it is to not only edit the uh, tonality of an instrument, but the, the certain colors. For example, when you're working with instruments like a piano, for example, the recording process is subject to a lot of the mechanics behind it, the microphones you're using, the piano that day often, the preamps and such. But you can capture, focus on capturing a really great performance, which is really key. And then utilizing tools like this, the overtone editing, the harmonic series editing here in Melodyne 4 with the sound editor feature that you can locate and toggle on and off. There it is right here in the top left corner to literally tweak the sounds that you want or elevate it to something you never thought you really needed before. This is just a quick look at this powerful production, utilizing it in a, in a harmonically rich instrument, like a piano in this example. And of course, the best way is to experience this for yourself. Thanks for watching.